We are Luca and Sara, an Italian couple of explorers. In 2017, we quit our jobs in the luxury and fashion business. We started a new life full of uncertainties and dreams abroad and a new project called Liu, Live Everything and Wonder. We wanted to inspire people to be brave, not be afraid to risk, change life, career, love, that traveling is possible also on a budget. We bought Lucky Liu the Beast, a 1994 F-250 truck for 800 US dollars, with the idea of traveling from the most northern point of the American continent in Alaska down to its most southern tip at the end of the world in Argentina. In February 2020, after three challenging and unforgettable years spent living on the road and over than 70,000 kilometers, that idea became reality and we reached Ushuaia, realizing our dream. When the pandemic hit, we were first confined to a police campground in Patagonia and then forced to abandon our truck camper in Argentina and to return to our home country, Italy. We worked on several different projects, gardening, renovating our laundry room and converting a minivan, Luigi, into a home on wheels in five weeks. We were able to hit the road again and explore our beautiful country, but a second severe wave of COVID-19 hit Italy and we are now back to our small house in the mountains. We thought 2020 would be the year we got everything we wanted. Now we know 2020 is the year we appreciate everything we have and that a bad moment doesn't mean a bad day or a bad life. The sun is warm, there's a gentle breeze. All the birds are making homes inside the evergreens. The air is clear with our loved ones close. Every star without a telescope So beautiful to see how we have changed Good morning beautiful people Welcome back to Liu, Live Everything in Wonder And welcome back to Lucky Land uh, here in Italy, Piedmont uh. We have a great news guys We are free! <laughs> we are in the yellow zone again This will be just for one week Actually, explaining all the Italian regulations, it's very complicated because they change uh, mind every and every day. But what we know for sure is that we are in the yellow zone, we'll be in the yellow zone till the 20th of December. We can actually leave this property, leave this municipality and go around a little bit. So we have a lot of things to do. We would like to start uh, giving an update uh, Today is Monday, it's uh, exactly two weeks uh, since we started uh, heating the house just with the wood. Yeah. We still have a decent amount of wood and uh, let's see how much propane did we use. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so six, six, eight. Uh, we will check the footage uh, that we have uh, recorded uh, two weeks ago and we will see how much propane did we use. Okay, beautiful people, we have uh, a 5,000 liters uh, propane tank and here I can see how much we are using. So today is Monday and uh, as you can see there is 664. That are the cubic uh, meters of uh, propane. This propane is only for heating the water that we use to take showers, uh, clean, uh, and uh, the propane that we use to cook. We calculated approximately that we are loading the fireplace one day, two times a day, and the day after three times. So we are doing two loads, three loads, two loads, three loads. Average every day we are consuming 40 kilos of firewood yes that in one month will be 1.2 tons that is a little bit more than what we calculated we started this test with a really freezing weather it was probably not the best period to do this but actually it's good because we can see in the worst scenario how much we will consume 
first priority for us is to resolve the problem of the mold in our sleeping room. It was great to sleep in front of the fireplace. I love it. By the way, the noise uh, that you can hear is <laughs> our neighbors uh, down there, uh, rooster. Yeah. And uh, he has roosters, uh, chickens, uh, and turkeys, uh, a lot of animals. So here we always have this nature sound of animals. Every time we are recording filming, there is the rooster singing, but it's okay. We feel we feel less alone here in the mountains. <laughs> okay, so first things first, we need to solve the problem the mold. Yesterday we started with some works. Good morning, beautiful people. First thing first today is to empty our closet completely, and then we will try to move it. I don't know if we will be able to do this. We need to proceed step by step. Okay, guys. This is a huge, big uh, closet, as you can see. So it will be really hard to move it and we don't have much space in this room. Uh, I will start uh, trying to take apart uh, this side uh, so at least we can uh, make it in two pieces. This side uh, will be one piece and this other side uh, will be another piece. So in that yeah. way, probably Sara and I will be able to move it. Otherwise, uh, if it's in only one piece, yeah, it will really be heavy. impossible, no, impossible, impossible to move. And we will not have space uh, to work and to, to move it. So Hopefully nothing will break. Yeah, and like, I will try to start taking off all these uh, screws and see what happened. I didn't build this uh, and uh, we will see how how it works and uh, what happens. Uno, due. Ok, mettilo giù di là, così. Ok, giù. Qua? Sì. Sei pronta? Sì. start seeing better what is happening here. Okay, let's take also this one. Yeah. Wow. This is just half of the wall. Now we need to remove also that part of the wardrobe. We have been contacting this Italian company that is producing this paneling that are exactly what we are looking for, what, what these panels are doing, they will absorb the water and then release the water slowly, slowly. And it would be perfect for us. It's a mess. Here inside, we put everything underneath here. I think that we need to wash this anyways. I don't know if you can hear me. Mas o menos. Probably not. But Safety first! Safety first! Let's go and see what is happening here. Wow. We made it. We moved the closet. <laughs> Challenge number one completed. The hard part will be to put it back together. <laughs> yeah, like always. And move it back there. Move it back in his place. Don't think about it now. Think about that we succeed. <laughs> the first step. 
This is a mold remover. We will apply the product on the surface to be treated. Leave for a few minutes and then rinse with water. We opened the window today because it's a sunny day, finally after two weeks without sun and the humidity inside the room dropped. The humidity level inside the room should be between 30 and 60, right? To be the, the good level. And this room was 66? Yes. So now removing the closet from the wall, opening the window, now we'll wait for the humidifiers and treat with this product. Let's see the result. Are you ready? Yes. Something about the way you make me feel inside I'm counting down the days till we fly away Edging to the sun, only you and me I don't wanna waste another day Being stuck here in this place No, I wanna hold your hand in mine Watch the sunset in your eyes Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 it's definitely a harder than we expected. We expected, you know, the mold to vanish with just the product. But I think we'll need... Now I changed the water 10 times already. Of course it's better, but it's not gone yet. Wow. And this is not so bad like the first ones. Let me see your face. Yeah. The face of devastation. This is the result after the bleach treatment and the anti mold remover. It's better than before, but it's not perfect. Perfect, but this is just a treatment that we need to do right now. It's not the final solution. Now it's time to spray some vinegar, white vinegar. And we will leave it on the wall and then we will clean it and we can leave. And now that we are free to explore and to take our car and drive, we will go and we have to go to a hardware store. We have to buy the oil for the splitting wood machine. Yes, the hydraulic oil. Yes. We need to buy some oil for the chain of the chainsaw. Check out this paneling. Uh, we are still, we still don't know what to do if to work outside or inside the house. Or do uh, both. Uh, or do both. Probably not everything right now. And then we need to go and buy some groceries. Yes. Okay, so. And check on Luigi. Yes, ah, exactly. We have to go to the mechanic and check on Luigi. And so let's go. This will be a day in the life of Luca and Sara. Here we go! First stop! Are you happy in your environment? Yeah, we need uh, one of those. Something like that. <sighs> Looking for the oil? Yeah. Now let's go to the other side of the road, of the street, to see if they have the paneling we were talking about. It seems so strange, so weird to be able to walk around, see people. It looks normal again. Yeah. They have the panels. You see, this is perfect for mold and to eliminate the mold, not just to avoid the mold, to eliminate and to avoid. This is before, this is after. But they finish a product that it's 
important this will be a solution for the interior right now and then uh, we need to think about something that we need to do on the outside of the house we will see now when they will have the availability of the products again we decided to buy what we can find here in in this place and then go in another place in torino to buy what is Slay. missing yeah. yeah the total project will cost us around six seven hundred euro but it's money that we are willing to invest for our health this is really so important right now so if this will not work anyways we will do also something outside but at least we try to solve the problem and this is for sure something that is good for the wall and for the temperature, the humidity. What are we waiting for? For some material. Okay, should be the last one for today. Yes. Then we are good to go. We need to buy some groceries and go back home. And the mechanic, if we can make yeah. it in time. Yeah. We're trying to do as much as we can today because we don't know as long this area will stay, will remain yellow. Okay. He said that it was finished here and he had to go and pick them up up there in another storage. But he said first, we finish it here. And we were like, oh, oh my no, God, because no. we had to go all around uh, Torino to find a place uh, where they still have it. You need to buy the kit. You cannot buy just one part because they need to go together. You need to work with all the products together. So now that we have everything, we have just... We are just missing uh, <laughs> the, the four bags uh, of the kind of glue. I don't know the, the, the term uh, in English that we need uh, but uh, in, in each place they had a different part of the kit uh, yeah <laughs> so <laughs> to complete the kit uh, now we we need this this thing so we were, we got really scared when he said we finish it here and then he said after that uh, after that my face was like oh my god he said uh, i'm going to pick it up up there Grazie mille. Grazie a voi. Ciao. Ciao, grazie. Ciao. All right. Full load. We made it. We made it. And here we are, Luigi. <laughs> if you miss Luigi, Luigi is alive. Did they say something? It's fixed or not yet? Uh, no, no. No. Okay, there's no power. No power, you need light. Here you go. Thank you. Luigi, no. Oh, nice and clean. We need some things that we left here. Yeah, we have the light. We said to Salvatore two weeks ago, no pressure, take your time because we don't need the van right now is quite busy so we said don't worry when whenever you have time you can work on luigi i think that after christmas he will start working on it what we need is just the van for if we need materials or if you need uh, something big we can use the van but the polina it's pretty spacious we are pretty tired i don't know if it's because we are not used anymore to go around, drive from a place to another place, see people, stay, you know, it's pretty chaotic, I have to say. When you are used to stay in the middle of nowhere by yourself in really a peaceful place like Lucky Land is, then it's when you start going around again, it's it's tiring. Bye bye Luigi. Ciao Luigi. No. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> Hey guys, you have been asking about what is 
this device. With this device, we can check out, self-check out at the end. So we don't need to get in contact with other people and we can see all the prices and the total of our grocery. Yeah, we scan uh, all the products uh, that we need uh, and then uh, we can already put them in the, our bags uh, so we don't need to buy other bags. Uh, and then uh, at the checkout, uh, we just pay. We don't need to go to the cashier and it's fast, uh, easy and... Uh, safer. Safer. I love this. We are back home, we are exhausted, uh, destroyed, uh, was <laughs> crazy the day. But we would like to introduce you to our little new blue. We will call this uh, blue. Because this is a Picea Pungens Super Blue. It's the name of the quality. Yes. What happened, Luca? Tell us the story. Okay, so we went uh, to see this... Uh, um, Christmas trees and uh, they were all sold out and they were only the ones that they they weren't perfect anymore. We got this one for 50% uh, off because as you can see this part uh, is uh, is dead, it's not good anymore. But this is the tree that represents to me Christmas. Yes. I fell in love with this. We asked to the guy there Will this tree survive and say, hmm, I don't know, probably it will grow up, you know, not perfect. And I said to Luca, we need to, we need to take this. We need to <laughs> save it. So yeah. Sarah asked for a 50% off, the guy sell it 50% off. And now we will need to make one of these uh, grow. Yeah, in we the middle. We will need to cut this, this part and one of these uh, with we will uh, have to bend it and make the point. And I love the fact that this is a plant, it's a tree. So we will not cut a tree, but we will use a plant that will survive, we hope. We hope also to for, save it. For yeah. next year, for our children, will be, for our grandchildren will be big enough. <laughs> yeah. But it's beautiful. And here we are in our favorite spot in front of the fireplace and sleeping here. It's super romantic, uh, it's nice and warm and we love it. In the next days uh, we will start working uh, on our room, we need to fix our big problem and we have all the materials to do so. We hope you enjoyed today's episode, we would like to thank our patrons, all of you, for your support and we would like to say a big, 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 huge thank you. You are really special to Terry, Bill and Elaine, Margot, Susan, Eva Lani and Gordon. Thank you so much, guys. And remember that we will be live next Sunday, the 20th of December, to chat and to celebrate Christmas together. 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern time, and 6 p.m. Central European time. So it will be 6 p.m. for us. And don't miss this live stream because there will be also a giveaway, a Christmas giveaway. A surprise uh, from uh, Sarah and Luca of uh, Live Everything in Wonder. If you have any questions, please write below in the comments. We are trying to do our best to answer all your emails, the comments, Facebook messages, Instagram messages, but we cannot answer to everybody. So we will collect the questions and we will try to answer during the live stream. So exactly. it will be a really moment of sharing and chat with you. So don't miss the appointment with us the 20th of December, next Sunday. Next Sunday. The Italian words for today's video will be some Italian gestures. Uh, in the previous video we teach you some of them, uh, today we'll teach you some more. Go ahead. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Dopo, later or after, sei pazzo, are you crazy, you can do like this or like this, ci facciamo due spaghetti, do you want to make some pasta, some spaghetti, 
when you are hungry and you want to invite some someone to eat for example now we are really hungry <laughs> yeah in italy it's really common uh, yeah. to do spaghetti it's the easiest and fastest thing that you can do in italy it's really common so you call it like this yeah it's kind of a fork so a forchetta. We make a fork exactly a forchetta so again dopo later after sei pazzo are you crazy ci facciamo due spaghetti do you want some pasta some spaghetti especially <laughs> We love you guys, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us and stay with us because there will be a beautiful live stream <laughs> next <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. Love you. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao. No, abbiamo fatto, if you like the video, smash the thumbs up. Lo faccio. Good morning, beautiful Ho people. Ho gli occhi. Eh, bel casino. Porco, Giuda. I would like to... Dai, di nuovo. And remember guys, ah, and we have all the material on the service. Yeah. Italy. <laughs> Europe. <laughs> Europe. I will start uh, trying Di to... Nuovo? <laughs> Se famo du spaghi. <laughs> so this is a great new because... Six seconds. <laughs> we saw we the previous video we love you guys we appreciate you <laughs> oh mamma mia oh mamma mia he say nothing is free in life right <laughs> subscribe <laughs> is free. <laughs> so subscribe, like, comment, hit out. the notification bell, smash the thumbs up button. Yeah. Button, not button. <laughs> <laughs> button, not button. Button, button not button. But. Okay. <laughs> Let's go eat something. Ciao. Ciao.